I'm Liz Berger and I'm the president of the Alliance for Downtown New York, the business improvement district that serves Lower Manhattan. This is a public art project that uses all kinds of construction barriers, jersey barriers, concrete barriers, parapet walls, blue walls, timber barriers as canvases for large scale public art and architecture. Our latest project is Restore the View by artist Richard Pasquarelli, curated by arts consultant Karen Robin. This very exciting project will surround the construction wall for the new Fitterman Hall. Um, I was hired by the Downtown Alliance as a consultant or curator for recon, re, uh, reconstruction. I find artists and ask them to create proposals for various barricades. It can be a chain link fence, it can be um, a jersey barrier, which is concrete barrier, um, it can be a scaffolding, and I ask them to create proposals that I think would be of interest in this downtown community. I, I talk to artists that whose work I appreciate and whose work I like, but whose work I also think would aesthetically fit in this environment in Lower Manhattan. I've known Richard Pasquarelli for many years, and I like the way that he plays with landscape and sort of, and he takes, he makes paintings, but he makes them sort of digital paintings, and I, I thought that would be an interesting take rather than just sort of putting a landscape up in Lower Manhattan, that it was something digital. Richard is unique among our recon artists because he's the first to have multiple projects up at the same time. In the next few weeks, hours of the day, his work at the W Hotel on Greenwich Street and Washington Street will be going up, and after that, Secret Gardens, which is a very exciting collaboration we're undertaking with DOT and Commissioner Jeanette Sadek Khan. I'm particularly pleased to partner with the Commissioner because she has made public art a hallmark of the Bloomberg administration's work to reimagine the public realm. He was very interested in sort of what, what it would look like if the building, if a slice had been taken out of the building, sort of the size of scaffolding, what it would look like sort of from the eastern point and the western point, and he photographed it, um, and he calls it Restore the View. I think by taking all of these construction projects and beautifying them, it makes it a little bit more pleasant, a little easier for the people who live in this neighborhood. Interacting with contemporary art, I think most people think of, of art as a pretty picture on a wall in a museum or in a gallery, and here, this is a wonderful way of introducing the public to um, contemporary art and showing them that it can be accessible, it can be a part of their lives every day, that it doesn't always have to take place in a museum or a gallery construct. This piece is essentially uh, a very simple idea that if you, if this construction, if the scaffolding, if the buildings around it, if everything was gone and you were standing here and you were looking that way and you had a clear shot, what would you say? And this is just a beautiful uh, pillowy cloud sky. You know, I hope some people just take it in for, oh look, I'm so happy that, you know, construction sites aren't, you know, eyesores that they've done something to beautify them. Other people will take a more, more interest in it, look for the sign and want to learn about the artist a little bit more. I think both kinds of people can enjoy it. Those that pass by quickly and just appreciate it for its quick, you know, you know, band-aid on the scene and other, other people will appreciate it from the artist's point of view. Reconstruction is the best kind of public-private partnership. It's about government, property owners, artists, curators, tenants, general public all getting together to make something beautiful. So it's a win-win for everyone downtown.